climate change can be tackled without ditching economic growth. The underlying question, of course, is is the, the system that they operate in at the moment, is it fit for the purpose to solve or at least to fight the crisis that we see? We cannot solve a crisis or problem in the same way we created it. Put nature and people first. That's a better economic system I can think about. We still don't have an answer how we can grow as a company yeah, while bringing the absolute number of emissions down. Our atmosphere at the moment doesn't have a price. The planetary limits don't, don't have a price. Africa-centric solutions uh, and not Euro-centric solutions for Africa. Whose call is it to change the unequally distributed growth that we're talking about here? I think we have seen in many of the discussions is that civil society is driving the discussion to a point where then, you know, politics step up, you know, and put what civil society wants and needs into rules and regulation. Well, I, I, this was recorded. I had a CEO next to me speaking positive about regulation. It's not something that happens to a minister a lot, I can, I can tell you. Do we have to exploit nature, exploit communities, exploit people to get to where we want? We know today that the market doesn't regulate itself. So there, there must be a strong hand of, of government. I'm convinced we have to go circular. There's no, there, there's no other way of, of accepting the boundaries. To bring the material back into the cycle helps us to generate value, monetize this value, grow as a company. We need to rethink the whole system. So we cannot for lack of a better word, mess it up. There is no healthy economy on a sick planet. From an absolute perspective, emissions are still going up. And that's the challenge that we are facing. So the positive side on it is, okay, we also have it in our hand to do something against it. We, we have the tools and the possibilities to fight it.